everyone, welcome to the weekly update, the last one of the year. Uh, before we get to the fish, just really quick, you got three days left. When this posts, you'll have like one and a half days left. But bring in a can good, get entered into win the 120, and New Year's Eve at 6 p.m. we will do the drawing. It will be live on YouTube, and somebody is going to win a 120 gallon tank uh, just for donating. So please do that. Uh, you got a couple days left. I hope everybody had a great Christmas. Let's get on to other things. All right, something really cool I wanted to show you guys. If you have a little extra Christmas money and with tax time approaching, we don't typically have this particular stand and canopy, this tank in. This is our bookshelf design. So as you can kind of see, uh, it comes with two bookshelves that are actually attached to almost look like a small wall unit. We have this for a 120 gallon tank. Uh, Francois Nolet uh, from uh, Elos has come and decorated it with some really cool rock work, but you don't have to get the rock work, but you might want to come check out the standing canopy. This is one of the rarer ones that we very rarely have in stock. We did not have one all year last year, up until just a couple of weeks ago, and uh, this is definitely one you want to come check out. Or maybe what you want is a tank that's already been set up for you, and all you have to do is take home and uh, fill up with fish. We've got a 90 gallon running that's a complete setup. It's under three grand, it's everything top to bottom. All your filtration and everything, we can even deliver it for you, and it's ready to go. It's already cycled, so there's no wait time. You can set it up, kind of see the lighting, how that is. And uh, that's another setup I wanted to show you real quick. Now let's get on to the fish. Hello everyone. It's beautiful outside today, even though we are at the end of December. So we yes. wanted to shoot my intro outside today because I wish I could be outside. <laughs> of course, it's so rich. <laughs> let's go look at my fish. <laughs> This is an angry Andrew fish. Arr! And he likes to turn red. Keep him by himself. <laughs> All right guys, so this is a green brittle star. We're gonna start in the back with some of our inverts today. Green brittle stars, when they get this size, can actually be fish eaters. Um, if you have bigger open water fish, angels and tangs, you typically don't have to worry about it. But any smaller fish like gobies and blennies and smaller, uh, slower moving fish, this guy might end up eating. People love, love having brittle stars in their tank because they are probably one of the best cleanup crew members you can get. They will eat every bit of detritus and waste out of your fish tank off of the bottom. So if you have a large fish tank with rock work and big fish that don't have to worry about getting eaten, definitely think about adding a green brittle star to your tank. So this is the largest Bangai Cardinal that I've ever been able to get in the store. This one is probably the most perfect one. If you were to Google Bangai Cardinal and you were to see the perfect stock photo pull up, it would be this guy right here. This one in particular is already eating for me. He eats flake food as well as frozen. Bangai Cardinals are completely peaceful. Um, as you can see, they don't do a whole lot of swimming. They kind of just perch in the water and move around here and there and they're more of a upper part of your water column fish so if you have a very peaceful fish tank whether it be fish only or a reef tank as these guys are reef safe and you're looking to add some movement and some really beautiful patterned fish up in the upper part of the water column just to fill in your tank this bangai cardinal is going to be the perfect perfect choice for that so next up on our invert list are going to be these peppermint shrimp Peppermint shrimp stay smaller than your fire or blood shrimp or your cleaner shrimps and peppermint shrimp will actually eat aptasia. So if you are starting to see an aptasia problem in your tank and you don't necessarily want to add another fish like a copper band or an aptasia eating file fish, come grab a handful of these peppermint shrimp and throw in there because they really do a very good job. Now when it comes to feeding these guys, aside from the Aptasia they're gonna eat, they really enjoy regular fish food, flake food and frozen food. They will go crazy for it. And that's what I feed them here at the store as well. All right guys, so I got in an adult emperor or emperor or angel. 
This one has already completely changed to its adult colors. It already has that really nice black mask across its eyes, as well as those beautiful yellow and blue stripes down its body. Now, if you don't know what they look like as a juvenile, make sure you pull up your phone or on your computer and Google juvenile emperor angel because they look completely different. They completely go through a 180 change and it's really cool to watch change. Um, emperor angels are coral eaters. So definitely a fish only tank for this guy as he will nip on your corals. It is a normal part of their diet. Now, as I always like to point out with butterflies and angels, they do need a specific diet and we do sell frozen food specifically designed for angels and butterflies. So if you're thinking of picking up this gorgeous showstopper uh, emperor angel, definitely consider talking to us about their specific diet so that we can send you home with the best food for them. So sailfin tangs are a staple item here at Fishy Business due to their beautiful coloration, their disposition, as well as how hardy they are. <coughs> Sailfin tangs are probably one of the most popular tangs, uh, not only that we sell, but that people have in their reef tanks at home. Also, these guys can work well in a fish only tank. So whether you have fish only saltwater or a reef tank, your sailfin tang is gonna be one of these staple fish that people typically put in those tanks. Um, sailfin tanks are a zebrasoma tank, so the only fish that we do kind of have to worry about are other zebrasomas, but typically if you have a larger tank, I would say 125, 150 and higher, you typically don't have an issue as long as you have a bunch of rock work. Now like all other tanks, this guy does need seaweed to be a part of their diet, so you will need to feed this guy seaweed, I would say three to four times a week. But sailfin tanks are very hardy and they do very well in any type of aquarium. All right, guys, so you're going to get a two-in-one in this video, so um, we're going to talk about both of these fish today. The one up top with the bright blue googly eye is, uh, that's going to be your porcupine puffer. They get very large and will eat any crab, shrimp, and snail. They have great personalities of any puffer, and they have really beautiful quills. Well, they're not actual quills, but they look like quills, which is how they get the name porcupine puffer, that run all the way down their body, and he has beautiful golden pectoral fins and things like that. So now we're gonna gently move him out of the way. Oh, okay, or the other one can move, that's fine. Uh, the other fish we're gonna talk about is the beautiful Harlequin basilet. This is probably my favorite um, of the dwarf basilets that you can get. This one, like I said, is the Harlequin. It's got beautiful black and white spots and patterns all over him. Now basilets uh, have been known to eat small fish if they are hungry because they're not aggressive but they are predatory um, and they will eat inverts as well so both of these fish work very well together and they both work very well in a, in a fish only tank hi it's kevin we got a lot of new exciting new things in freshwater we got a, actually a cichlid i've never even heard of before we'll get to that yes richard a cichlid i haven't heard of before amazing isn't it no seriously that scares me i know but we have all kinds of surprises we got in some beautiful looking Romy Nose Tetras. They look awesome. Nice, healthy, and vibrant in the tank. Really cool fish for a planted aquarium. We got in some really cool American Flagfish Killies. This fish is highly prized because they do a good job eating beard algae. They don't look like your typical algae eater, but they do really well. Really well for a planted tank as well. And pretty peaceful fish, so you go in with a community fish aquarium. We got in some really cool looking exasperatus, really cool African cichlid we haven't had in in a while, haven't seen them available for almost a year. They came in looking really pretty, really good size, vibrant color, awesome fish. As promised, a cichlid that I had never heard of before, this is a Tamasopo cichlid, type of Central American cichlid. Looks very similar to a Texas cichlid, but not really gets a lot of different color in it. Mostly a bluish sheen. Really cool to see a fish that I haven't seen before after doing this for over 30 years. We got in some nice looking large orange shoulder severums. These came in really nice size, really vibrant color. Really proud of these guys. They really came in looking nice. One of my favorite freshwater fish is the Roseline Shark, also known as the Denutzii Barb. 
very peaceful type of barb, not as nippy as most other barbs. They do best, honestly, if you keep them in groups of three or more. Really cool fish. Even though they get a little larger, they'll still be compatible with most smaller fish as they usually do not eat small fish. We got in some nice looking albino cherry barbs. Really cool, bright, showy little fish for a nano tank. They don't usually get any bigger than an inch long at the back size. This is a little rarity. We got in some nice looking red self in Venezuela quarries in this week. They look really nice. We got in some beautiful gold neon rosy barbs. Really bright metallic fish. Really good in a fast community or semi-aggressive tank. They always do best in groups of five or more. The males are going to be much more colorful than the females, but the females are still a striking gold metallic color. Electric blue acaras came in looking really nice. These guys are relatively small. They're probably roughly about two inches, maybe. This is the best way to introduce the fish into your tank with your other dither fish, because that way as it grows, so do your dither fish and he's less likely to go after them. These guys came in looking spectacular. These are tinfoil barbs, which usually I'm not real excited about this fish. These particular ones have a lot of different colors actually and extend with just the regular silver. Getting a nice defined flag on the tail. They will get large. They, I've seen them in excess of 10 inches before in captivity. So make sure you've got a large tank, but do a good number of them. Do about five of them so they don't nip at everybody randomly in the tank. We got in some really nice large gouramis. We have not been able to get large gouramis in in over a year because they're an Asian import and they haven't been shipping anything but the small ones. All of these are a minimum of three to four inches. We got in some of the prettiest discus I've seen in years. We got in some beautiful red Marlboros, some pigeon bloods and some blue diamonds in. They look stellar, beautiful color, very healthy discus, eating the same day we received them. So with this being the last uh, weekly update of the year, let's say goodbye to 2021. I wish you all a wonderful new year. I hope everybody had a good Christmas. God bless and we'll see you here next year.